Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com. Today is Thursday the 15th of March and this is my daily look at our signal service and picking out one stop in particular to set up. So our members get both long and short trades, uh, signals every day. Uh, they get on them on the weekly, the daily and the 6 minute time frame. They simply click on the image here. This is the short trades for example and they download the spreadsheet. So I've chosen short trades today. Uh, just to give you an example on a daily time frame. So let's have a look at the spreadsheet very quickly. So again, the download is every day. There's different um, potential short and longs every day on the weekly, daily, and six-minute time frame. I've chosen the daily time frame uh, for shorts. You see, there's quite a lot there. There's a lot on the 60-minute as well. So let's have a quick look at the chart. I've chosen O, which is a Realty Income Core. And so let's have a look at that. So I'm using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave 5 Trade on the Ninja Trader version, but there is Think of Swim, Trade Station, and Multichart versions of this. They all act pretty much the same. Um, for those members that uh, have the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, I've isolated the, the wave count here on the 18th of December 2017. I didn't choose this high because even if you did, the wave 4 pullback would be in the same position because this pivot point here breaks all these other pivot points which were potential wave 1s. So we, we broke Elliott Wave rules. So this is the start of the Elliott Wave count. So let's go and have a look a little bit closer at this potential short on O on the daily time frame. So part of our signal service, we filter out certain things. So the 535 oscillated down here is between the 90 and the 140%. So this wave four pullback has pulled back between 90 and 140% of the highest point on the wave three on the oscillator there. The stochastic is also in the overbought zone for this and also our wave four is in our automated probability pullback zone. There. So we're in the amber zone. So the amber zone is an 80% probability. It's going to go on and make a new wave low into our automated target zones down here in blue. So very, very simple. We've got the setup. We've isolated the wave count, which is very, very simple. Everything's looking good for this. All we need to do now is get an entry strategy. Entry for this type of trade is we use the 6-4 moving average low, which is part of the Alley Wave Indicator Suite here. Uh, and we're looking to go low on today's bar position below the 6-4 moving average low. So 49.72 is the entry for the short on O on the daily. The stop loss is just above the wave four there, about 52.09, above the whole dollar, whole $52 mark as well. And we've got a great risk reward into our target here of over 1 to 1.6 into the middle of the target zone there. So targets anywhere between 46 and 45.50 really. A uh, really good target for this. We recently traded this on this um, negative move down here. And now it's pulled back and we're looking for another one. So signs of exhaustion last couple of days on this bullish move as well. So also take into account those, those signs as well. Wave force found good resistance. Looking at exhaustion here, looking to turn back down into the main direction of this bearish trend. So that's it for today. Short trade on O on daily. It may not trigger today, but the entry is still good as long as we don't break this wave for high. So that's it today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.